Hey, Dolphin and Life's Math and History, and we are going to take a look at some energy, which is physics. When you think of energy, you probably think of someone being hyper, or some person with like ADC bouncing all over the room. Well, that is correct, because when you calculate energy, you're using that energy to do some kind of work. And for reassure, energy does mean, and it is a definition of, the ability to do work. But sometimes, when objects use energy, sometimes they don't always have to sit still. Like, that robot over there is not turned on, but it's not using any energy. But, if that robot were to be moving, that is where the next definition comes in. Kinetic energy happens when energy is being used in a motion. The formula for energy is kinetic energy, as in Ke, is equal to one half the mass of the object multiplied by the velocity squared. And just like the work problems and the power problems from the last video, we will be measuring it in joules. Sometimes, when an object or someone needs to do some kind of work by using energy, or consuming energy, sometimes the work cannot be done because there's just not enough energy. That is where we calculate the potential energy, the energy needed to do some kind of work to complete a task. If the robot is trying to haul something up a hill, and it doesn't have enough energy, it's not able to complete that task. And that's why we have gravitational potential energy. So your potential energy in the gravitational idea is the mass multiplied by the gravity of acceleration, Earth's gravity, multiplied by the height of what you're trying to do. Are you trying to climb up, climb down, lift a heavy box, or what are you trying to do with it? Besides all of the so-called work idea to a machine or someone using energy, there is one thing that we should look out for. And yes, it is very crucial if you're in engineering, especially if you're designing something. The law of conservation. Energy cannot be created, nor can it be destroyed. I slowly learn the intricate mysteries of the atoms, like where the pins go after they're knocked down. Energy is only allowed to do is use that energy to try to power whatever is working. What energy can only do is to be transferred to another thing or to be used by another thing. But if you wanted to calculate the idea of kinetic energy and potential energy, then there's one more thing that we can look at. The mechanical energy. 
So the mechanical energy is basically the sum of kinetic energy and all the forms of potential energy. Just like in the other math videos, when we say F net is going to be combined of everything, like F net equals Fm plus Fg, we can treat the same way with mechanical energy, with potential energy and kinetic energy. The mechanical energy is equal to kinetic energy plus every potential energy or all forms of it added together. And that symbol right there is sigma, which means in calculus level, the sum of everything that you have. But that symbol we're going to talk about later in a different video. So yeah, that is going to be part one of energy in physics. In part two, what we're going to do is solve a math slash physics problem about roller coasters to understand mechanical energy, kinetic energy, and the potential energy. I hope this video has helped you understand the energy part one. Thank you for watching Tau Realized Math Industry. Like and subscribe.